L'industria nautica è una delle eccellenze del nostro paese. Siamo The nautical industry is one of this country's strengths. We're number one in the world. There are boats of every description built in Italy, from little pneumatic tenders to luxurious maggiots. And then there are all the accessories and components needed to fit them out. To explain it all, ICE, which is the International Promotions Agency for Italian Companies and, and Ucina, the association that represents the majority of Italian nautical companies and industries, have invited the foreign press to some of the most important shipyards in Italy, and we too, here at the Boat Show, have come along to Liguria and Tuscany to find out what they all have in common. Abbiamo avuto una serie di azioni importanti di follow up della 57esima edizione del Salone Nautico nell'ambito del piano Made in Italy. To strengthen the positioning of the main Italian trade fairs internationally, of which the Boat Show Salon is one of the flagships and as part of the Made in Italy plan, we have had a series of important follow ups after the 57th edition of the Boat Show, starting with international promotional events at the main boat shows in Dusseldorf, Dubai and Fort Lauderdale. From there we launched an international campaign activity in the main specialised sector magazines, followed by an incoming promotion inviting foreign journalists to visit two of the main Italian nautical production districts, that is Liguria and Tuscany. When we approach the operators internazionali intesi sia come buyer intesi come comunicatori quindi esperti della stampa eh, sviluppiamo eh, intorno al, al concetto del salone quindi dell'evento We only have a limited time frame to get close to the international operators whether that be the buyers or the communicators that is the experts from the press so we develop our campaigns around the salon planning of course to bring buyers with us because then it effortlessly becomes international as we basically identify those who are and those who could be the valid influencers who may go on to talk to investors in the nautical sector. Questo insieme di azioni eh, portano, come dicevamo, al Salone Nautico 2018 dove sarà eh, effettuata una forte spinta attività di incoming sulla stampa specializzata. As we've said already, this chain of action is leading up to the 2018 boat show, when there'll be a strong boost to incoming activities and targeted activities for the specialist press in the international sector as well as significant networking and promotional activities aimed at over 150 foreign journalists and at least 100 specialised operators. Amma Yachts is an historic boatyard in San Remo, a company with a family feel that builds big yachts Along with their construction skills, accrued over nearly 50 years in the business, they've nurtured their attention to technical innovation. So they are now at the point where they're creating four-engine motor yachts that stretch over 30 meters long and have Volvo IPS pod drive and trailing edge propellers, which improve efficiency and being steerable, allow one to perform seemingly impossible maneuvers. The foreign press tour has set down in the city of La Spezia, where there are two very famous shipyards, Bagletio and San Lorenzo. The name Bagletio needs no introduction. I don't even have to mention the word yacht. Everyone knows what I'm talking about, a modern shipyard, even though it was launched in 1841. It has won records for the first big Italian motor yacht and the first hydrofoil in the world, to then give us mass the Italian naval military boat in the First World War. Today, its masterpieces reinforce the fascination, taste and luxury which is typical in all Made in Italy products. San Lorenzo only builds big yachts, fiberglass models with planing hulls which range from 78 to 118 feet and semi-planing hulls that range from 92 to 126 feet. Then there's the series of super yachts, all custom built in aluminium or steel, that range from 40 to 64 meters in length, with either planing or displacement hulls. And then there's a crossover, an 88-footer, which stylistically reminds you of the Explorers. 
these boats made to navigate through any sea. San Lorenzo is celebrating 60 years of business this year. Via Reggio is historically important in terms of sailing. Businesses have been developed here that have increased the skills of the workers, so today this is one of the richest areas for specialised personnel. Benetti, which began trading in 1873, is one of the oldest big yacht builders. It has been part of the Azimut Group since 1985, and as of today, this particular brand has built 350 big boats. In fact, it has three that are over 100 meters long in production right now. This is the Viareggio production site. There is another one in Livorno. The range is subdivided into various series, the names needing no explanation. Classic, Fast, Oasis, Mega and Giga. Viareggio ha sede anche which was founded in 1825, has an office in Viareggio too, where they've designed boats for some of the most important people in the world. Management is still family led by the founders' descendants, who have built yachts that reach up to 90 meters in length. Beginning with steel and light alloys, they have, in the past few years, added to the series with boats ranging from 35 to 50 meters that are totally made from light alloy, so they are fast. The Kodakasa boats are built to owner's specifications, so each one is different from the next. It's worth mentioning as well that they built the Coast Guard's Omni Tempo patrol boats, which were made for all weathers. We're in Pisa, one of Overmarine's 10 production sites. Overmarine is the shipyard that produces three different ranges of Mangusta, one of which is dedicated to the fastest megayachts in the world. The range of Opa models goes from 72 to 215 feet, though the name suggests their most recent series, the Oceano, is made up of metal displacements which can go very long distances. Could they unite speed performance with displacement ship quality? Of course, they've just done it with the Mangusta Grand Sportline, which launches this year with a 54-metre boat. So, you've seen some of the Italian shipyards, but did you notice what they all have in common? They all have a long history behind them, true, which certainly makes their brands more powerful. But even more so, they have created a formidable nautical culture. Today, more than ever before, these companies with their knowledge, security and their skilled workers can build these fantastic boats so naturally. Something that only those who know exactly what they are doing and how they are doing it can do. Which is exactly why the most important boat owners from all around the world turn to these companies.